morning guys! Hey there. <laughs> Please check it out here. We're here at the Fort Colombo railway station and we just got our ticket to Gaul. It's about, how much was it? Two euros. Two euros for a five hour train ride ticket. We're gonna see how these old trains are gonna be like. They look pretty cool from here, but we're gonna head straight into our platform now. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. We're going further into Sri Lanka, first hitting up Gaul, a city on the southwest coast, and then across to Yala, a national park for a safari. To get a seat, you kind of have to squeeze your way in, and we're just getting really lucky. We managed to get seats. Look at that big window view. And the cool thing about these trains is that people walk down the aisle and try to sell you things. This woman is selling this wrapped in old algebra homework paper. So cute. Ooh, there's some type of shrimp pastry. Oh, there's pepper in it. I want to eat it. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Okay. The train is now moving. I love how one side is the ocean. Just right on the other side is the whole city. Train travel is a beautiful and slow way to see the country, just like how we like it. The railway system in Sri Lanka was initially built by the British in 1864. The main reason was to transport tea and coffee from the hill country to Colombo for shipping internationally. Ah, so that's why the British are obsessed with their teas. As Yurun falls asleep on my shoulder, a quote by Bo Tapalin pops in my head. It goes, you make the small moments special. Life is not going to be full of heart-throbbing thrills and non-stop adventure, but when it slows down, I'll know I can sit with you, talk with you, or hold you in my hands and still feel like I'm going 1,000 miles an hour. And that's exactly how I feel like having this life with him. We have touched down in Gaul, and now we're gonna take this tuk-tuk to our Airbnb's place. Off we go! Fortified by the Dutch in the 17th century, Gaul's core is the fort, a walled enclave surrounded on three sides by the ocean. The only way in and out is through our tuk-tuk. All right, so we found our Airbnb. So the tuk-tuk drivers drop us off in this little small alley, as you can see. And our Airbnb is actually inside an old uh, colonial Dutch villa. So giving Yerun a little bit of history of his ancestors. And this is our place. It's quite beautiful. It's all white with these palms in the front. And this is the entrance. Little living room lounge. And this is a bedroom. And this is a small but very cute bathroom. So that's the old lighthouse of Gaul, and we're off to explore Gaul. First course. Oh. Since Jeroen is Dutch and lived in Holland all of his life, it was great to see Gaul's Dutch influence all around us, even though we're halfway across the world. Here we're seduced by the ambience, the soft law of the sea. During the Dutch period, approaching ships were signaled from the bastion atop Flag Rock, warning them of dangerous rocks, hence his name. The Gulf Fort is one of the world's most authentic and unspoiled UNESCO heritage site. The architecture within the fort reflects the island's bygone period of colonial occupation and the numerous Dutch era buildings have been carefully restored and renovated so it feels like we have been seemingly, quite literally, transported back in time. 
Of all the books in the world, the best stories are found between the pages of our passports. Just a sea star. <laughs> it would lay on your front then. Okay. the star. Yes. Can you get an angel? <laughs> you are. So we're here for dinner at a place called A Minute by Tuk Tuk. And it's overlooking this beautiful sea in a converted old Dutch hospital as well. It's a fantastic building. As you expect from an island in the Indian Ocean, seafood plays an important role in the Sri Lankan cuisine. Sri Lanka has been influenced by a diversity of cultures and one of them, most evident, is the Dutch burger community. Lampreis, a word that combines the two Dutch words for lump and rice, is a combination of meat, rice, and sambal chili sauce wrapped into a banana leaf packet and steamed. The rice is cooked with a meat stock that's infused with cardamom, clove, and cinnamon, along with a mixed meat curry, two frikandels, which is a Dutch style beef balls, and bakan, a shrimp paste. Mm -mm -mm. How is it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. As we ended our meal, we had an idea that popped into our head. Why not see some animals? Much later. With that, we booked a last minute private ride to go to Yala, Sri Lanka's most famous national park. Much, much later. It takes about 4 hours drive to get there, so we had to wake up at 4am to leave since the safari starts early in the sunrise. You bet we are dead right now. Much, much, much later. So, we woke up at 4 a.m. and now we're going on a safari. We finally made it basically cross country uh, in three hours and now we're ready for our morning safari in this uh, top it up. There we go. <laughs> Yala is full of scrub, light forest, grassy plains, and brackish lagoons. It's very rich in wildlife with encounters of elephants, crocodiles, buffaloes, and monkeys everywhere. Yurun and I have been on a few safaris. He saw a bunch of lions in Lesotho, and I did a camping trip in East Africa, Serengeti. Except, we haven't been on a safari together, so this is our first one. What we love about it is how being in this jeep brings you up close and personal with the untamed world of wildlife. Yala is home to 44 varieties of mammals and 215 bird species. It's ironic to think that the park was initially used as a hunting ground for the elite under British rule before it was designated a wildlife sanctuary and then became a national park in 1938. What is today a pristine wildlife kingdom, Yala was home to a thriving civilization dating back to the glory days of Sri Lankan kings. Traveling Sri Lanka continues to pleasantly surprise us since the country still feels so underrated on other people's travel bucket list. But as you can see from the endless beaches, timeless ruins, and oodles of wildlife, not to mention Sri Lankan food, we can't get enough of this island nation. Since Yala is bordering the Indian Ocean, we got out of our jeep and took a little dip of our toes into the water. Life is nothing but an adventure with this guy. The teardrop of India or the pearl of the Indian Ocean are among many nicknames for Sri Lanka, but a more accurate description of the gorgeous nation might be the island of rice and curry. Here, we're having a feast of multiple curry dishes that include jackfruit, chicken, and dal curry. So we just finished our morning safari and we're in a little town called Tissa right now having some lunch, some typical traditional Trinidad lunch and just before we hit the road again to a new place called Ella 
but food looks amazing. I'm gonna dig in. So if you enjoyed this video, just click like, subscribe, you know the usual comments, all that. And we'll see you in our next house. Bye guys. <laughs>